All right. So here we are, uh, starting with our finding substrings program. To get started with this program, I'll go ahead and declare two variables. One's going to be a string text, uh, which pretty much states, I can resist anything but temptation. And uh, uninitialized integer. All right. And to make some action go on in this uh, program, we'll go ahead and get some statements going. So the first thing we're going to do is use this um, function where we um, use text.find. The argument in here is uh, to look for the substring resist. And we're going to go off starting at the index 0. So it looks for the first uh, occurrence of the first complete substring. 0 is the index of that starting position. This is the output starting. It's going to output the starting position index number in the string right here and under this variable num. All right, next, uh, it's going to go ahead and find non-such um, um, with the same um, initial starting position here. The result will be uh, negative 1 as it fails to find any such string. And as you can already tell, you can't find any non-such in this string here. And it has to be a complete substring. So you can't have part of the word either. All right. Then the next function we got is um, the find first of. Now this will find the first of any of the characters in the designated substring, and this is if in this set case. And I'm going to go ahead and just uh, get all the statements out here, as I think it may be a little easier if I just show it all all at once. Uh, so let's go ahead and see. All right, next, this was going to find the last of, and that is T. It works in a similar manner, but starts at the end of the search, of the end of the string, also known as reverse order. And that's for T. After this, uh, we have dot find last not of. Anything that's not T in reverse order of the search. And it'll display that index number right here, of course. And with that said, I think it's time to run the program. Okay. So the first thing here, it finds resist at number six. Um, then non such was never found, so it's negative one. Um, then here, if or any character, anything for if, uh, even the i was found at the very beginning, so zero. Um, find the last of t. So the very last t would be in position, um, here at 32. Then here find um, the last of not t. So in reverse, reverse order, the first thing that's not t, and it would be this period as that's not t, and it's searching backwards like this. So it'd be this. Otherwise, it'd be over there at position zero. 36 is the last position find the last of t. So yeah, it finds reverse order and it finds t right there, just like that. Now, something interesting here is we want to check out um, the size of the string. And if we take a look at it, it's 37. Now, you may be wondering, why was this not 
you know, when you look at the 37 characters, uh, 37 instead of 36. And then here's, um, you know, 37, 36, 35, 34, 33, it's 32. Well, apparently, um, the starting position in a string is 0, not 1. So I'll think in those terms to clarify. So I was a little confused at first as I was just counting 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 as you would naturally think. But really, it's 0. And then when, we, when you think of it in those terms, it all makes sense. Uh, this first thing, I'll put it 6. Uh, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And you get this blank space. But if you count in terms of 0, then this becomes 6, and then it all makes sense. And you find your first resist. Now, here's another thing. Let's do this. Like, why should we have a starting index? It's still 6. What gives? I mean, heck, why don't we throw a number? Another number, 3. It's still 6. It's like, what's the point of that? Like, whether we have it or not, it doesn't, you know, do anything. Well, here. We use 7, and now it finds nothing. Because starting at 7, nothing actually equates to resist. Esist is the closest thing. So that is where I found the utilization of this starting index. And with that said, I think I've uh, covered everything that's needed to be explained in this program.